Hi guys, WiffyBL here brings you the final episode to Kate Denshi Telefang aka Fake Pokemon Diamond slash G8 slash This Is Power version. Hence the reason why it's called Pokemon Diamond. Well, there's a lot of random encounters here that I will skip. For this guy you have to walk slowly downwards. If you, if you just start running he'll notice you and you'll be forced into another battle. And in the case of all these random encounters, I'm just going to cut them out, but it seems like they're more frequent here than they are anywhere else. And there are two ways to reach the final boss room here. I'll show you, you the route that I'm familiar with, and... Well, if you're more sure in another route, you can do that, but this is just the way that I decided to do it. Now, I said this was my second most hated dungeon, I'm not lying. Aside from being a maze, it has a few monsters that has always screwed things up for me. I wanted to make this as clean of a run as I could without having to, well, spend time healing again. And luckily for me, I didn't have to heal at any point. That's kind of being what being lucky would imply in this case. Doomsday himself is annoying, but he's not as horrible as Yarrow was. It's just about, well, recycling some old strategies and, well, we'll make it eventually. So you go all this long. Just to reach the final floor. And they're talking about the birth of a new ruler. I don't know how I would feel about my new ruler being named Doomsday. Would seem very odd. <laughs> Whatever. You keep moving downwards here. Then you take the entrance to the right. The only entrance. And you skip all the other doors here. Some of them will have treasure and no monster lurking about. Some of them will have treasure and a monster lurking about. We don't need the treasure and we don't need any unnecessary battles. So... That's the way it's going to be. So... Whenever there's a door, just move in the opposite direction of where it is, or skip it. Pretty much implies the same thing. Moving down all the way here, take a right, and then move down to take another right. And here you move down. Take the entrance on the left. Get bothered. Chrysan is the one that always destroyed my runs, so I'm lucky I don't have to fight him. But you take your left turn, move up here. Then right here, I accidentally took a left turn, even though I wasn't supposed to. I guess I got confused by my notes, since they never clearly state at what intersection do I really mean, but... Whatever. Now, I hadn't included any battles, so I figured I might as well include at least one before I ended up fighting Doomsday. Reaching him doesn't take that long when you know what route to take, but it's the random encounters that will take away a lot of time. About 10 minutes or so was cut down in random encounters alone. Now, when it comes to Doomsday, you want to get yourself an Amiboa. He's super effective against him, as well as having the moves Defend and Cure. So you kind of have a safe stride there. Now, this is kind of a straightforward route now, so... I'm going to explain a little about what, I'm pl what I planned on doing. While Amiboa will not deal that much damage, 
pulling off a few defense. Well, well, do you want in case Doomsday gets rid of both both your two monsters and then Amiibo is left alone? Now this is just a straightforward wrap to the final boss. And that's only the second battle we were able to skip. Yeah. Move up. Up. And there he is. Just sitting there being all cocky. And as he's already explained, he wants to be the god of both worlds. I wouldn't like having a god named Doomsday. But I've already mentioned that, so screw it. You'll see a lot of my strategy here is actually recycled from the Yarrow fight. Simply because, well, it worked so great back then, and it worked against the Narpa, so... I chose Amipoa and Shellstary for this. Like I said, Amipoa has Defend and Cure while being super effective against Doomsday. And the same applies to Shellstera and Doomsday, well, type speaking. Now for Kryptonite, you want to get off at least one Diverge. I hope to get off two, but no such luck, so I had... You can do it with just one, and you'll deal about 25 points of damage at mo most of the time. So, that you can use to your advantage. Now, I don't know how Amiboa is defensive-wise, but getting off for defense should quarter over or reduce his damage by one eighth of what it usually would be. He never attacked Amiboa though, so I would never be able to figure out. Now, there comes the third defense. And dust works like it did with Yarrow. It'll keep him from ever getting a turn. However, you could you could get very unlucky if dust decided to miss. But even then it shouldn't be too it shouldn't destroy too much, but you don't wanna miss that many of your dust attacks. Now I that's the first diverge I managed to get off on Kryptonite and I pretty much decided this battle has be, has be, been going on for a little too long. Also considering that Kryptonite has only had two actual turns. So I decided at that point I wanted it to be all over. And now it's just all about thrashing about. <laughs>
This has been a very long run, but it's a long game as well, so... But I figure I've spent less time completing this than I normally would, and it's this has probably been the most fluent fight I've ever had against Doomsday, so... I'm glad you were all here to witness it. The few of you who actually watch my videos. <laughs> so, we now head back to Tolong Village and get congratulated. There's nothing to say here, nothing at all. But overall, I'd say it's a pretty solid game, and well, I'll gladly start, o start all over any day, I just can't help it. Um, in the case of after game stuff, I might be I might do some things. I don't know about all the after game stuff, but there are a few things in particular that I can show you. And pretty much also something I will do. It's probably something a few of you are not aware of. But with that said, take care, see you next time with whatever I make, peace out.